John Carlo, thanks for taking the time. How are you feeling at the plate? Sure. Um, uh, I'm getting my getting my timing down uh, and just getting my at bats in. Um, so uh, these next ten days or whatever we have all uh, um, be good progress to get uh, where I need to be. Has the intra squad setting, you know, uh, no fans playing against your own teammates, have you found that to be detrimental at all? Is it, is it affecting you at all? Affecting others at all? Just what's what's your take on what it's like? Um, well, the spring training is it, just separate. It's a different <laughs> way of getting prepared. Than, you know, we're just used to spring training, but at the same time, uh, uh, we face guys on the backfield in spring training where there's no one around. Just the, the only difference is a huge stadium. So uh, it's just a, a matter of um, are, are you worried about everything else that's around, the empty stadium and no one here? Or are you trying to get better and worry about zoning in and locking in? So it's, it's really a matter of uh, handling your distractions, even though – I guess in this case, uh, nothing around would be a distraction. So. Thanks, Dr. Carlo. Yeah. Jake Seiner, Associated Press. Go ahead. Hey, John Carlo. Just want to, I mean, just physically with the, the calf, everything's been feeling pretty good as you expect. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the progress back has been good. Um, get, getting in everything I need to so, to be ready. And then just following up on that, I know playing the outfield in games isn't something that's on track for opening day, but for a little bit later. But as you guys are doing these inner squads, doing some of the stuff here, are reps in the outfield something you're going to want to start to work in? Is that part of the plan or is all that going to hold off until? Uh, I've been doing that uh, in, in um, BP. So it's better to be controlled setting right now, especially um, while pitchers are trying to get their work in. You know, you don't want someone trying to work back. Uh, and maybe not get to some that uh, keep them out there, especially with such a unique situation um, on all aspects. Take the next question from Bob Clappish. Bob. Hey, Giancarlo, how you doing? Hey. Um, earlier today, uh, Clint was saying that he is intending to wear his mask at, at the plate in the field and do so in the regular season. Obviously, you guys can't afford to lose any more frontline players. Is, I'm curious what you think about that. Is that something that you would consider doing yourself? Uh, I don't mind it. I mean, uh, it definitely doesn't hurt if it, if it doesn't affect um, his play. Uh, so uh, it would be one of those things to play out. Uh, for me, I would do um, I would do our, our little – our cold gear mask and, and put that halfway. I wouldn't do uh, the standard mask, but um, – yeah, I mean, I've done it, done it when it's cold out, so it's not uh, wouldn't be too big of a difference. Sweeney Murdy, go ahead and unmute. You have the next question. John Carlo, I don't mean to sound humorous when I say this, but you have played in front of small crowds before. That's a difference between there's, there's a difference between that and no crowd. Yeah. But is there anything you learned in those situations about focusing, about playing in that environment? That, that will help you focus or things that you can maybe tell your teammates about? Um, well, it uh, doesn't matter the, uh, if it's a little. Um, a little helps more than none. So um, uh, it's interesting because um, if we don't know if there's going to be crowd noise uh, in the, through the speakers or they're going to be playing music the whole time. So it's all new, it's all new uh, um situation for us so um uh just just roll with with what we got we uh, we don't even know how how that's going to be but um at the end of the day i mean hitting it, it's you it's you and the pitcher so if you're going to let anything uh get in the way of that then um you know you're not focused enough already